Let's try again. Alright, we're back. Are you back, Marco? Where's the RB gone? <laughs> Just hit a dead spot then. What happened then? Stupid dead spot. Ugh. Just what you want when you periscope. Just lost you then. Oh, right. Right. I'll be back. I'll be back. Oh, it's the fun you have when you're on the canals. Sometimes lose reception. Right. I know where we are now, I think. Oh. That's so weird. I've been coming down the same piece of canal for for eight months. And then I just hit this new bit. Right. It is a big piece I've uh, jumped on. Oh yeah, you hear it. Ah, it's, just, it's just a powerful microphone. <laughs> Just got me, uh, got me MP3 player in my pocket. Where's Derby gone? It's always a nuisance, Harris, when you're in the, when you're in the countryside. Well, I'm not in the countryside. I don't know what happened then. You just hit these little, uh, you just hit these little glitch, glitch places. Where it goes a bit funny, and then you have to come back. This is no ice, anyway. Spoke too soon. Yeah. So we've got some cyclists along here by now. And this is a big section. Yeah, we're just getting on a snee green. I didn't think it'd be this long. Yeah, I thought I'd just go down snee green bank. This is a big long, uh, long piece. Right. So to find where the uh, where the canal turning was. Got on the canal a bit later. I've been on the canal a bit further down here. I haven't been on this bit before. You know, there's some pre-glow. There's some nice uh, there's some nice screenshots. You know. Derby gone. Derby, where's Derby gone? I've lost her. Where's she gone? It just feels like it goes on forever when you're not used to where you are. <sighs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh. oh no. I can't walk on it. I can't oh, do anything. <laughs> yeah. I say I just. Uh, I live in Hanley, and I thought, oh, I'll just go down Snee Green and find where you can get on the canal. I haven't been this bit before. It seems. <laughs> It's quite a long piece, isn't it? Yes. I used to go on Ivy House Bridge. Uh, I just thought I'd go down Reppington Road and see where they explore a little bit more. You have seen any boats today? No, no boats now. I know. In the summer, I might try and go to Frog Hall, which is about 18 miles, isn't it? So yeah. <laughs> I'll just do a short one today. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a plane taking off. There you are. Oh, bloody connection again. Stop it. Stupid connection. There you are. Looks like a rocket going up. What's that there? It's like a rocket going up. Yeah, I'll have to avoid this little bit. I've got a few uh, got a few uh, dead spots. You know, let's get a reflection. Let's get a reflection of that on the water. Oh, look at that. Let's try and get a reflection of that uh, rocket going up. Hang on. I can't get it all in. Hang on, where's it gone? Let's try and get this. Uh... I'm going to come across on camera, try and get that reflection in. Ah, right. Where are we? Went fishing this morning on the River Trent in Newark. Right. Yeah, this is a Trent to Mersey Canal. Oh, no, it isn't. Yeah, this is a canal. Out there. I live in Stoke on Trent. Uh, are we still there? Looks like a rocket going up, look at that. Looks like a space shuttle's going up. Oh, 
Let's try and take that nice cool reflection there. Right, I can recognise where we are now. Yeah, that's a good day. Uh, it's a good little diversion now, as long as the signal's okay. I think I was getting a few dropouts, that's the thing with the with periscope. That's the problem with periscope. Uh, trying to go on these nice countryside walks and uh, relying on connection. Yeah, there's some, uh, there's some birds. Give them a bit of my bird food. I won't save a bit because I'll probably see some more down the bottom end. That's when you walk on the canal, it can take ages because it has to twist and turn around all the... It's amazing how somebody's built all this and had to make it go hundreds of miles and keep it flat where possible. Unless they had a... Uh, unless they have a lock to change the water level. I don't know where we are now. I can't believe how long this canal is. I thought to get to the other end of it, was, it wasn't far to walk. And then when you follow it back on the canal, it seems all twice as long, the walking. Oh, weird. Yeah, say I usually do canal walks, but uh, there won't be any boats at the moment, so I like it when you see canal boats. We've got a bit more daylight. Start exploring. I thought it'd have been a lot thinner by now, and uh, basically you can go down that canal. And uh, well, I think I've lost everybody. I don't know. I'm gone again. I think I found a dead spot. I think I've lost you. I don't know where that path goes. Where's that path go? Oh, where's my thing gone? Oh, yeah. Are you still there? <laughs> right, is everybody there? Can you see me? Can everybody see me? Or am I talking to myself? I was just going to say, there's no boat, there's no canal boats, but uh, the, uh, all the birds are coming. Where's Derby gone? Who's that? V3 Norm, hello, where's Derby? Tell Derby I'm back on on the Twitter. Invite her back in, where's she gone? She's just keeping me company, yeah? Anybody else want to ring in? I think I've got the call-in feature on. Who's that? Sinual. Hello. Just lost a few, a few little dropouts then. I haven't periscoped down this bit of the canal before. There's some birds. Yeah, it is a, it is a little, uh, a little brisk walk. Yeah, just come with a bit of trepidation because we didn't know how far it was going to be. I don't know where we are now. This is where. Just around the corner, this is where I normally come on the canal. I know where we are now. Who's that? Hello. Green eyes see you. Hello. <laughs> just uh, just having my daily exercise. I just started with bird feeding. I just had to restart my scope. I was just having a connection problem. And a connection problem, I just restarted. So you're just coming, you're just coming on the scope halfway through. I just had Derby, I know where Derby's gone, I just had a call in. It usually keeps the, uh, keeps the uh, connection on. And then it just went all a bit quiet at my end. It's amazing how you just hit a few dead spots. 
and then all the, the scope disappears. So we're, not, we're just supposed to stay local for exercise, so I was just uh, just finding some new routes to go on. Yeah. Oh, well, we're connected again, Marco's in. Yeah, so I've got the call-in feature on. I've, uh, I was just busy talking to Darby in Colorado. And then the connection just went. And then she's trying to come back on. <laughs> always ask the new people, just say hello. I want to have a chat for five minutes. See where you're watching from. We're in the UK at the moment. This is Stoke-on-Trent. I live in the heart of the canal network, so... I can get a lot of my exercise on the canals. Yeah, luckily the luckily the light in there. The sunset's going a bit later now, so it's usually oh yeah, so we have got a lot more time. It's usually dark by now. It's usually dark by now. Yeah, look, it soon goes lighter. But the problem is I live like at the top of a hill, so this canal network's at the bottom of the hill. And you can see how, uh, so I say, just, just keep giving me comments and connections or call in, because I don't know if the connection will drop any second, so I'm not, I haven't scoped down here before. There's an old bridge. I'm just basically on the old canal network. It's been here 250 years. I say, I'll say we won't see a boat, but we might see a boat. <laughs> the canal barges pass a lot. I don't know how much daylight we're going to have. I'll just walk on the canal while I've got some daylight and then uh, we'll come off a bit later on. See how much it should be dark by now, it's soon getting light. So it always helps when you have a call in and having a chat. And uh, yeah, I think this is where I did my first periscope, I think five years ago when it started. I did a little periscope down here. And when you go up, the sun's shining, you think, oh, I'll go have a walk on the canal. And uh, you try and stay in the sunshine at the moment because it's a. Uh, oh, we are. Who's that? Oh, Marco's coming in. Oh, cool. Speak to Marco. <laughs> yeah, he probably hasn't at work today. <laughs> Is he there? Three, two, one. Hello Marco, <laughs> nice to hear your voice <laughs> after all this time of commenting. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh. oh yeah, I don't know where Derby's went. I just had a I just had a what's it glitch down and just uh, everybody just disappears and I thought oh the signal's gone. <laughs> all the comments and the hearts just disappeared. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is obviously where, I don't know if I've seen, you've seen me on the canals before. This is local to me, all the canal network. Yeah, there's still a little bit, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, there's a bit of snow. Still got snow, a little bit of snow, just where the, just the areas where nobody's walking, you know. Yeah, just pieces of grass where nobody's walking, there'll still be a bit of snow. And uh, I'm just surprised how quick it's getting lighter now. About, uh, I think it was getting dark about 4 p.m. Uh, just getting a connection issue again. You just yeah, I know there's a lot of. I've just thought of uh, you know when they said um, when Periscope said you can't you can't buy super hearts or you can't join new accounts. I've had a few people. 
that obviously the message comes up my end and it says welcome so and so to their first day on Periscope. So people must have multiple accounts, you know, probably because uh, I just thought, oh, they said they aren't letting like, new sign ups happen. So uh, I don't know what's going on. Are we back to a are we back to a picture now? Oh, right, okay. I know it's just a, yeah, it's, uh, I say basically, I never used to come down here until the lockdown started and uh, obviously with all the stores closed, I just tried to do a lot of local walking, you know, and obviously I thought, oh, the canal boats, I can show people the canal boats and all the, the history and the, you know, all the history of the canal boats, you know. <clears throat> I don't know. Yes. No, 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 not, not at the moment. No, I, there, is, there is people who fish. Yeah, I passed a few fishermen. Yeah, I do see people. I do see people uh, at the side of the. Uh, I do see people at the side of the the canal, uh, just in different spots. Obviously, this goes on. I was just. I don't know if I just said it on the scope. Basically, this canal. Uh, we basically. I'm near to the canal network. This canal is basically called the Calden Canal. Uh, and if you wanted to walk, if you wanted to walk all the way to the end, it's about 18 miles. You could basically walk all the way to the end, then you'd have to come back. It's like, it just goes to a, it just, it was built to go to a quarry, uh, to get all the stone from a quarry. So basically this is like a branch canal that just goes nowhere. Uh, I'll just feed the ducks. Yeah, it's basically a branch canal that goes nowhere, but obviously as we keep walking, I don't think we'll see the other one, but if you keep going down here, there's another canal called the Trent and Mersey Canal, and that'll that links up to Birmingham and Manchester and Liverpool, you know, and London, all the big cities. This is like a branch canal, so you don't see many don't see many boats on this one. Uh, yeah, that, I know that's how uh, that's how quiet it is, obviously, without having the boats churning it all up. So you can see a bit of snow on the ground where nobody walks, but it's all tend to go on where people are walking. It has been cold all week since the snow has come. It's still about zero degrees. So obviously it isn't clearing it all up. As you can see there, there's some still on the grass, on the grass areas. And obviously the sun's trying to... I can't believe how quick it goes light. It's just, it was getting dark about four o'clock. Uh, it's 4.30 now in the afternoon and... About a week ago, it was dark by four o'clock, so you see how quick it goes light. I say it's like half an hour extra daylight in about a week. So uh, this will probably be better for the, uh, the American viewers. You know, I can start scoping a bit later. Obviously, I was restricted to about 4 p.m. cut off with the, with, the lack of, uh, with the lack of daylight. So I'll probably start doing a bit later as the daylight increases. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm trying to have a brisk walk. Obviously, the brisk walk's keeping me, keeping me warm. I can just feel my scoping hands a bit cold now, and my face is a little bit, uh, a little bit cold. You can see steam on your breath, uh, you know, when you're talking. I just keep trying to feed the birds. I need some more birds. Yeah, give the birds a bit of food. See the birds and the ducks. I've got a bit of special food for them. Oh, where did you say? Where are you watching from, Mark? Are you somewhere cold or hot, or what area are you? All oh, right. <laughs> right. But that, that, yeah, that's that's the that's the that's the question we always have with even like people who live in Egypt or places like that. I think if if British people or we went over to Miami now. I think we'd be plenty happy with the temperature, you know. <laughs> when it's about zero here, I think. If it's about 25, that'll be plenty, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, shorts and feet, yeah. Yeah, your probably jacket and, ja jacket and coats and things, yeah. We'd probably be like our normal summer if we went there now. I mean, we have started having a lot more hotter summers. Because obviously, we, we struggle because obviously no houses have got air conditioning, you see, because we're not used to hot weather so nobody has air conditioning so we all, apart from the, the retail stores you know so you do tend to sort of stroll to sleep in our summers now they're getting very 
hot and humid. The past few, the past few what we've had have been uh, very hot and humid. But I so say we're just walking towards the uh, where the sun sets, so we should get some nice, uh, some nice views of the sky in a minute. Which is just basically walking to uh, the uh, the west where the sun sets, so we should get some nice uh, shots of the sky in a minute. Just going under a bridge, you might lose you for a second. Yeah, I was just forgot. I was just deep in conversation with Derby, but it's, it does help a lot if you have a call in because you obviously you can keep an eye on the the quality and it usually locks on a lot better. And I don't lose signal uh, unless it completely goes. So you get some nice reflections. There. Some nice reflections there. I've got loads of photos. I've got to try and put on Instagram. I took loads of nice photos, but uh, I just keep forgetting putting them all on Instagram. Uh. Trying to have a brisk walk, you let me off in a puff in a bit. <laughs> it's, it's nice if you if you're like a cyclist because you obviously with this being all flat, there's obviously miles and miles of cycle paths, you know, you can obviously come down here on your bike. It's nice and flat. Yeah, it's good for cyclists, yeah. Yeah, because we, we basically we had a lot of funding from the government a few years ago and we basically crisscross by cycle paths now. There's lots of cycle paths in there. Oh, off-road cycling, you know, off-road cycling. There's lots of places. Obviously, you can you can combine the canal towpath with obviously we're basically an area where we used to have a lot of railways, like abandoned railways, where they took the track up and uh, turned them into cycle paths as well. So we just crisscrossed with them in our area. From obviously all the railways have disappeared and the, they turned them all into canal paths. But this is one I'd like to go on. Yes, yes. Yeah, we basically, yeah. Well, you've got things, obviously, yeah, you've got, obviously, yeah, we basically are a very sort of, uh, what do you call it, um, you know, we're basically a very industrial city. Obviously, we used to be the heart of the potteries, you know, where all the china and plates come from, you know, the, the ceramics. Uh, we used to be the, the worldwide headquarters of, uh, well, you know, all the names you've heard of Wedgwood and Royal Dalton and uh, all the different pottery companies. And obviously we used to be good for uh, Yeah, well, uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you, um, basically we've got different companies in this, uh, there is one around here called Steel Light, Steel Light International. And they are more where they obviously supply hotels and cruise ships and all that. So I think you'll find most, I bet if you went on a cruise ship, obviously perhaps the Titanic, yeah. If you went on a cruise ship, I bet it'd say made in Stoke on Trent on the on the plates that you had in the cups, because this is where it all mostly comes from. Unless they've imported them from China, but obviously on cruise ships they probably have the, the quality stuff, you know. But obviously the problem is what killed our industry off is they started having a lot of imports from the Far East, you know, and that tends to that's basically killed off a lot of stuff like when you used to say made in America and made in made in England, you know, a lot of that's gone now. It's all from the Far East now. Lots of cheap imports and. Uh, that's the way we've gone, unfortunately. All oh, right, yeah, I've just got connect. Yeah, I'll come back in a minute. Yeah, just it should come back in a second. But what I've just noticed the first time, because I'm not on the canal when the, 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 the sun's going down, I can see all these red lights. You see them, Mary? I'm just, I've just, I've just noticed that with obviously because it's dusk now. I just started to notice them. There must be lights so you can see where the edge of the canal is. If you're obviously coming in the in the darkness, you know. Oh yeah, we'll have a nice. Uh, this is where I recognise where we are now. This is where, if you join me on another canal walk, this is where I ju this is where I normally start my canal walk. That's the cycle path network we're on. See there, national cycle network. Yeah, I know where we are now. I know where we are now. Yes, those are apartments. Yeah, they've made it nice, this bit here. There's two dogs. Let's say hello to the dogs. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, basically, yeah, our local authority, obviously, I've spent a lot of money in improving, you know, obviously taking advantage of the heritage and obviously building a lot of canal side apartments, you know. They have made a, they are making it nice. Lots of canal side apartments. And, uh, 
Yeah, it is getting a lot lighter. What time are we on now? Yeah, it's 4.35 and it isn't dark yet. <laughs> it has soon, soon gone brighter. I was just hoping to show you some nice, the sun's setting, but I think we just missed it there. We've got the night, that's where the sun normally sets. Yeah, that's like a big factory there. Yeah, some just some spare ground. That's a big factory there. Yeah. Uh, there's some tower blocks. Basically, the town centre is over there where those tower blocks are. That's just where the town centre is over there. There's some more apartments over there. And basically, the, the canal just goes all the way through my city of Stoke on Trent. It just goes all the way through. I said you can walk miles and miles. And if you go past, you go on the early replays, you'll see me walking here in the summer and moaning about how hot it is. <laughs> when I was trying to come down here in the summer. Yeah, we don't have any, uh, we don't have any problems with that, you know, any sort of flies and things now. We don't have any issue with it. Things like that. That's a nice view of the sky. Let me just, uh, I'll just have put my hand in my glove now. <laughs> I don't think you do that in Miami where you go. I've got to put my hand in my pocket. <laughs> I've got to put my hand in my pocket for a second. Yeah. Yeah, no, no sweating today. Yeah, where, where about are you? And then I got my. Yes, yes. Yeah, all I can say is if you live in Miami, obviously, did it, did it portray your city well, that Miami Vice, or was it quite true, <laughs> that Miami Vice series that used to come out? Right. I see, I see. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm just thinking when you say Miami, then I can think of, uh, I just think I'm just trying to think what springs to mind with Miami. Uh, I remember um, there's a few movies, I think, was it Bad Boys 2 was filmed in Miami? They had that big car chase across the bridge, didn't they? That was a big effort. It's amazing that was, that car chase on the freeway. <laughs> I think what they were saying, like, oh, Hollywood's in town, they just let them do what they want, don't they? <laughs> it's crazy. Right. Do you, do you have this is the same sort of? Um, do you have the same sort of? Uh, what am I thinking? Uh, the word I'm after. Uh, the same climate as like, um, like Orlando side. You know where Disneyland is because they have quite a lot of humidity there, don't they? Yeah, so, so if, if you went Disneyland, how, how long would that be for your travel if you went, if you've been to Disneyland? Disney World, about four hours. Yeah, I've always meant, meant to go, because basically I got inspired. I used to watch somebody on YouTube who lives in, uh, he lives in, uh, where does he live? Uh, he lives in, uh, he lives in Florida, and obviously he does those, he does a vlog on YouTube, you know, he does, he's Disney crazy, and he does a lot of Disneyland uh, vlogs. And the, uh, Yeah, these are lights. <laughs> yeah, they have, they have got lights. Yeah, I've just noticed them because I haven't been down at dusk time before, so there's actually red lights to stop you going in. <laughs> See where the edge is. Oh, no, not yet, no. I, I, I've, nearly, I've nearly done it while I'm periscoping. <laughs> you have to be careful. <laughs> Try and read comments and periscope along here. 
No, I think. Uh, no, no, I think you've uh, basically you've had it. I think. <laughs> I, I don't know how long you could shout help. Obviously, you're surrounded by flats here, so I don't know how long you'd be able to survive shouting help and somebody'd hear you. You know, we're surrounded by apartments and that. You know, so this bit's okay because obviously I don't know if you could hear you if you were shouting help. But obviously, how cold the water would be. I don't think. Oh no, no. The, the only the only place you could probably do that is obviously you know the. Um, like the locks, you know where the boats go through the locks. You basically, if you did it all in there, they've got like a metal ladder. If you're inside the lock, so uh, that's really the only place. Yeah, it looks a bit deep. Oh, I don't think it's that deep. No, I don't think it's really deep. I'm not sure, but because sometimes you can get boats can be can be stuck, you know, obviously on a a silty bottom. So it doesn't really that much deeper than the boat's bottom. So. I'd imagine perhaps about six feet deep or something like that, you know. Perhaps you could stand up, but you'll have to go a long stick and try it. Because <laughs> I'm six foot. Yeah, with, with some, pla some places it gets very sedimenty, yeah, and you have, to, you have to go along and clear all the sediment out. But I said you've made a little feature of uh, this uh, block of flats there, some of the heritage. Obviously this used to be a pottery company, they've left the, they've left the bottle ovens. Where they used to fire all the clay products and made it a bit of a feature, you know, they've left those there. That must have been like this must have been the site of an old pottery company. They've left the, the Well what it was was obviously in the heyday there was about five hundred of those all puffing black smoke out every day. And uh, basically in the in the fifties there was basically some government uh, thingy called the Clean Air Act. And that got rid of a lot of them because they obviously it was just thick as smoke all the time. It wasn't very healthy at all. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's. Uh, so it's, uh, it's it's hard to imagine what it must have been like, you know, hundreds of years ago. I mean. It, I mean, obviously, this canal's been here. Just going through the bridge. Might just lose you for a second. Just uh, at least we're heading to where the sun sets, anyway. So we might have a little bit more daylight while we're heading to the sunset. Some nice reflections there on the canal. Yeah. Yeah, let's just stand still a second. Let's go. Let's just get my breath back. There we go. Yeah, let me just uh, let me just do theatre mode. Let's take a screenshot of that. Hang on. There we go. That's it. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm 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 I, I, I've been walking along here for about eight months, and I never knew there was those little lights that come on in the dark. That's it. I never noticed they were there before. But obviously when I was just talking to you, I should have come off the canal there because obviously you can't come off the canal wherever you want. You obviously have to be aware of where, you have to be aware of where you can get off with the bridges, you know, sometimes you can't just get off where you want. You've got to try and plan where the, uh, you've got to try and plan where the, uh, where the bridges are, you know, the accessibility to, to get off the canals. Because you can't always get off at every bridge. Obviously, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm testing the light anyway today. Basically, I'm going to get off in a minute. I'm not going to go all the way along. Uh, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to gauge the daylight. I think we're just losing the last little bit now. Uh, have you been along this canal walk with me before, Marco, in the summer, or have you? Have you been along this canal before? All right. I hope it comes across. <laughs> yeah, I hope it comes across okay with the sun's obviously setting now. You can't see it's clear. Just caught me just a bit of daylight left. It's brown, yeah. Yeah, because I've been trying to avoid this. Cause obviously... Yeah, yeah. I'm... I mean, obviously, if you just if you listen to news reports, obviously they'd say you know there's a lot of lot of issues, you know, negative issues. But obviously, when the lockdown started, I thought, well, I'm just going to promote all the 
all the nice things here, you know, there is a lot of nice things, not the negative side of things. Yeah, just like, you know, deprivation, poverty, crime, all the usual things in most cities, you know, but I don't want to try and, I don't want to obviously promote that just to, I just sort of started doing a lot of exercise to get fit and I thought I'd just stop periscoping, I got confidence to periscope and uh, from watching other people do it. And then I thought I'd just, uh, I mean, basically I'm a bit tired now because I've obviously been down the canal for about three miles. I started at uh, a far back point normally where you just jumped on is where I start my walk and then basically I'm going to the uh, I'm basically going to my local Victorian park which obviously if you scroll back on my replays you'll see you'll see everywhere I've been just going under a, another bridge for a second just might freeze a little bit but I'm glad you've called in it just helps you motivate you to keep going <laughs> it's what Derby's been good sometimes I think the record scope was about nearly three hours. I was uh, nearly four hours actually. I think I scoped for about three and a half hours. No, I don't think we've got. I don't think we've got a limit. I don't think we've got a limit. Well, uh, I say we'll just go off the canal now anyway. It's getting too dark for continue, so we'll just have to go back on the main road. Hang on. Oh. Yeah, it's getting too cold. It's getting too dark now, I don't want to go any further. Right. Yeah, we're just like, yeah, straight onto a main road, look, yeah, look. Just two seconds now, I'm on a main road now, you know, with traffic. <laughs> just come straight off it. Yeah, obviously that's, uh, I'll just show you down there, that's another area of the city. See, ba basically it's, uh, oh yeah, roadworks again. Major road work, so. But basically, yeah, there are, well, basically, there are, uh, yeah, there's basically, yeah, there's loads of potholes. Obviously, I don't know if you've heard of Emma Bridgewater, that's her factory. They still make uh, ceramic things called Emma Bridgewater. That's their factory. They are. Welcome to the city centre. Into potteries. There we go. We've got all these neon signs that they put up now. Yeah, but uh, yeah. If I'd got more time, I would have probably gone further along and show you the park. But uh, it's best to come off now with us losing the light. So yeah, it's done well with the light. I can't believe we've got about another forty. It took about forty-five minutes to go dark now. So I'll just give you a look. It's a massive. This is a massive old. You see how big this is. This is one factory. This is look how big it is. Old pottery. Factory. Yeah. That's an old pottery factory. Look at the size of that one. Yes, I think obviously at the moment, obviously everything's closed. You know, till the bugs have gone. But uh, if you just look up, if you're on Google now, if you look up, uh, or if you've got a Google assistant, just ask them what is Emma Bridgewater, and it'll it will tell you, or you can look it up. She's like basically. Uh, it's quite a new company. It basically does manufacture, sort of, uh, they do manufacture. Uh, it's like a, obviously a lot of the companies have gone away. There used to be a lot of old companies, but some of them have gone and there's new new people popping up. Yes, Emma Bridgewater, yeah. Yeah, the... Uh, I think what I've said, you look it up, it's like you've probably got like a lot of coloured spots on. They do, they do like cups and saucers with the, with coloured spots on. <laughs> oh yeah, here's a sign in front of me, here we go. Here's a little brown sign that indicates tourism, there we go. Yeah, yeah, that's it, yeah, polka dots, yeah, with the coloured, coloured dots on, yeah. Yeah, there's the factory there. There you are. Factory shop, cafe tours and gift shop. Yeah. yeah, in the normal world you can go in there and have a have a, some food and a drink and buy something, have a tour. <laughs> yeah, not at the moment. <laughs> well, I, yeah. yeah, I mean, to be, I mean, obviously everybody keeps asking where, where I am and uh, to be technical, it's basically the West Midlands, 
and obviously how, how you have states, we have uh, counties, and I'm basically in the West Midlands, which is a general area, and then I'm in, I'm in North Staffordshire, my county is Staffordshire, like your, your state, we have counties, so we're in Staffordshire, and obviously we're in North Staffordshire, in Stoke-on-Trent, in the north of the, uh, the, north of the, the county. And then we consist of basically six towns. Used to be little towns and then we all conglomerated into a city and we were called Stoke-on-Trent and became a city about a hundred years ago. But as you can see, there's a lot of construction going on. There you go, that's like a big block of flats there being built. There's a lot of new construction going on, so it obviously looks a bit like a building site at the moment, but there's a lot of new, a lot of nice things being built. Uh, lots of housing. New houses and uh, obviously there'll be uh, there's a lot to show you in the dark but uh, you'll be able to see my local bus station. We'll go through the town anyway on my way home. You can see my town centre, we'll see what's lit up if you're still with me. I'm just five minutes away from the town centre. I just forgot it's all up bank, that's the problem. <laughs> When you feel a bit flaggy, it's uh, it's all up bank. <sighs> That's the trouble with the canals. It, it, it's too easy just to walk along the canals because they're all flat, <laughs> and then you are surrounded by hills. Yeah, I should have come off a bit earlier, really. But uh, I've gone a long way round. Yeah, I forgot it's all up bank. This is taking my last bit of energy. Go up the, go up the steep banks. We'll be on the flat in a minute. That's the problem where I live. It's all I live like at the top of a hill. So when you start exploring, you've always got to go up a hill when you return home. So that's always the opposite. You'd rather be going up a hill to start and not at the end of your walk. Well, I've covered a lot of ground anyway. Right, let's try and get across this uh, get across this road. Are you still there, Marco? Just dropped. I think he dropped off then. Oh, you're back. <laughs> Talking to myself, I think, then. Did you drop off? I oh. know, oh, I don't know what happened then, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if somebody rings you, yeah, the periscope drops off. Uh, yeah, I'll just show you a few things. Like I say, it's, a, it's an unprepared scope. I'll just wander home and then I'll show you a few things that's still open. Because you know fish and chips is a big thing in England. This is a fish and chip shop we're getting past now. Look. Fish and chips. Yes, lots of beer. Uh, yeah, lots of fast food. Yeah, lots of fast food. Yeah, but I say because you're multicultural, obviously you've got pizzas, pasta, Chinese, you know, Indian. We've got all sorts. But obviously, fish and chips is a traditional, a traditional British dish. Lots of fish and chips, and then uh, we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of different people who live here. So you get obviously a lot of different. Uh, you have a lot of different. Uh, Lots of different food. Yeah, that's what that's the word I was after you. Yeah. yeah. I'll just uh I'll just uh just let's get across this busy road and then uh, I can hear myself think. Go across this busy road, get away from this busy road. Yeah, there's some nice, as Derby would say, some afterglow. That's where the, uh, the sun's setting over there. That's a nice shot. Let's get that one recorded. Right. 
Yeah, I keep saying I'm not going to periscope every day. <laughs> Just wait until the weather improves. It just fills you, you see, when the sun's out. It's, uh, it fills you when the sun's out. It's a bit warmer and then you try and finish your walk before the sun goes down. <sighs> it gets a lot colder. The sun just takes the edge off. Are you still with us? Oh, hey, yeah, who's that? Who's that new person? That's the bus station. That's the bus station. Got a new bus station. I just lost Marco again. Right. So I might just save a bit of battery now if uh, there's nobody on. So. I've just shown you the canal walk and then uh, I've just come off it at the wrong point now. I've just come up a, just come up a steep hill. I'm just going to show Mark on my town centre. I don't know how much we can see in the dark. I've just, uh, we're just in the process of the, uh, the, the, the sunset getting later. So we've just had a bit of extra. We just had a, we just had about an extra hour. I used to finish on my scoping by four o'clock. It used to go dark at four o'clock. I'll just cut through the town centre now. See what we can find. I forgot what I was saying to Derby now, it's disappeared. <laughs> yeah, I say I usually just go further out of my way because of the call ins, and uh, I'm just going to do a short walk today and then I saw Derby come in. I usually take her somewhere different. There's some art on the wall. I think that's made up of thousands of little photos. If you get closer, it's all it's all little photos. And the stand back makes one big picture. Everything is browner. That's a different font. What's that one? Yeah, I'll get to know you in the chat first. If I haven't to, if you're new to me scopes, I just. Uh, Get to know you in the chat first. So I've had a few uh, trying to avoid anybody just messing about, you know. I can't judge you, but obviously I try and get to know you in the chat for a bit. And then I said that Marco was just on. I, uh, I've known Marco for ages. That's the first time he's called in. There's my town hall. All different colours. Still got the tree up, I haven't took the tree down yet. That's a nice view of the town hall, different colours. Where's Marco gone? <laughs> He's disappeared. I lost you, Marco. We just reached the town centre now. Just reached the town centre. Still got the tree up. Took all the lights off it. Let's go down to the main. Uh, let's go down to the main. Yeah, so I don't know how much you can see in the town centre. I might end the scope in a minute. So I was just trying to. That was to show you in the daylight, in the dark, really. I've oh, got some noisy workmen now. Great. I've come the way where there's workmen. I just thought we'll come this way and now the workmen have started. Right. Yeah, I just stayed on a bit longer with Marco being on. Just give him a little overview of the town centre. I was just cleaning the. I don't want periscope road works. 
Okay, folks, let me just uh, finish the scope now. Just have to ignore this man digging the road up a second, the alarm's going off. Okay, it's all kicking off, it's going to be a, it's just going to be a peaceful scope for a second. Oh, it's cracky. Turn me on. Yeah, I could go get a hot drink and then it'll probably be closed now. I think I've just missed the place where they sell a hot drink. Might shop at five. Could be six, I don't know. Let's go see. I need a hot drink. Oh, I'm getting poop now. Let's see what's open. Yeah, just you think because it's dark everywhere's closed, but uh, we've got KFC open. So there is certain uh, certain stores are open. It's the essential stores are open. So I'm just desperate for a hot drink now from Costa Coffee. I'm about to, I'm about it's closed. I'm about it shuts at five. How good it's. Oh, it shuts at five. They have reduced hours, I think. That's five thirty. Yeah, I think it's. Uh, I don't know if it's still open. I'll just go get a hot drink if it's open. Oh, I'm glad when it's lighter. This makes it feel so late when it goes dark early. So we're at uh, five o'clock now. I don't know if everything's got time the cost to shut. So I'll just end the scope here, folks. I'm going to get a hot drink. Thanks for watching. Check out my replays. Uh, Periscope's coming to an end soon, so make sure you follow me on there. Uh, make sure you follow me on Haps.tv, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Jace the Who on all the socials. And I'm on buymeacoffee.com forward slash Jace the Who. And uh, I'll see you on the next scope. I'm just check if the coffee shop's open. Bye for now, everybody. Thanks for ringing in, Marco. Thanks, Darby. See you on the next one. Stay safe.